Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a display that shows the latest price for multiple different cryptocurrencies. I tried to make this project as simple to build as possible. There's only two components, you don't need to solder anything and you don't even need to know how to code. I'll go through everything you need to do in this video. The total cost of the project will be less than $10 and should only take you 10 or 15 minutes. Despite the project being really simple, I also wanted it to be really flexible, so I wrote a library around the CoinMarketCap API. This supports a huge range of different cryptocurrencies, and you can also display the value that comes back in a wide range of different countries' currencies, such as Euro, USD, or Pound Sterling. Let's take a look at the parts that we'll need. This is a Node MCU board, which is powered by the ESP8266, which is an Arduino compatible chip with built in Wi Fi. The headers come pre soldered on this board and it has a micro USB slot. The next thing we'll need is a display. This is an OLED display. This is the 1.3 inch version. The header pins also come pre soldered on this, so we don't need to do anything there either. These displays also come in a 0.96 inch version that work the exact same. So if you already have one or want to spend a little bit less on the project, you can definitely use one of those. The next thing we need are called DuPont cables. These are female to female version, so they have a socket either end. We only need four of them, so you can peel off four, but you want to keep them together to keep your wiring a little bit neater. Finally, we need a micro USB cable for programming and powering this project. These would have come with everything over the last few years, including old Android phones. If you've never used an Arduino or the ESP8266 before, you're going to need to do a little bit of software setup. I have a dedicated video for this that I'll link to with one of those card thingies up here. The video is just 5 minutes long and covers everything you're going to need to be able to write to these devices. Once you have everything set up, we need to install the program to the board. So inside the Arduino IDE, click File and then New. Then we'll go to the project's GitHub page. I'll link to this in the description below. So first we want to click on the Simple Crypto link, and then simplecrypto.ino. Then the easiest way to get this code is to click the Raw button, highlight all the code, right click, and then click Copy. Then we want to go back to the Arduino IDE, we want to get rid of the code that was in the default sketch, so highlight it all and press the backspace key. Then you want to click edit and then paste. So this should copy all the code from the GitHub page. Now we want to go file and then save as, and then we can name the sketch whatever we want. So I'm calling it crypto display, but call it whatever. The next thing that we need to do is install the libraries that are required by the sketch. So I list them out here, including what to search for on the library manager. Go to Sketch, Include Libraries, and then Manage Libraries. Search for each of them. So first we'll install the CoinMarketCap API, then the OLED screen. There's a couple of different ones available for this, so make sure to pick the one by Daniel Eichhorn. After that installs, then search for the Arduino JSON and install that too. The last thing we need to do is make minor modifications to the sketch so that it works for you. So I have all the configurations you need to do in this section here called Configuration Update These. The first thing we need to do is update your SSID and password. So this is your Wi-Fi connection name and the password for it. You don't need to change the pins. The screen change delay is how often it changes between the different coins. So this is every 10 seconds. The max holdings you don't need to change unless you want to try more, I've tested up to 10. Setting the currency changes the value of the price displayed. You can choose from basically any currency on the CoinMarketCap API, so select the one that you want and then take the lowercase version of that. If you change that you'll want to change the currency symbol too, this is what gets displayed on the screen. As I mentioned in the comment, the euro didn't work for me, but the dollar and the pound symbol did. And finally, we need to let the display know what currencies we're interested in. So you can add them here and they'll display in the order that they're listed in. Just to show you where you can get the values for it to use in the sketch, say we want to add the useless Ethereum token, search for it on coinmarketcap.com and then take the value from the URL as shown here. 
Finally, to install your software, plug in your board, go to Tools, make sure your port number is correct, and then click the Upload button. Next, we need to connect the display to the board. I recorded video for this, but it's not very clear, so I'll just use pictures instead. The display is connected as follows. Ground on the display is connected to G on the Node MCU board. VCC is connected to 3 volts. SCK is connected to D5 and SDA is connected to D3. One thing that's really important to note is that I've seen online that sometimes the pins on the display can be the opposite way around, so make sure that you always connect ground to the G pin on the Node MCU and VCC to the 3 volt pin. Make sure to plug out the USB cable before connecting the wires. When you're finished wiring, it should look like this. There's much bigger versions of these pictures available on the project's GitHub page. And then the moment of truth, plug in your cable and your cryptocurrency prices should be displaying on screen. I really like this display, it's really sharp and clear, even from pretty far away. So next is a stand. This is how I got on 3D printing. Not that great. I was really stressing over this part of the project because I don't really do 3D design and there wasn't anything that I could find that would suit the needs. So I came up with this and I'll share those STL files with you. I did try to print some of these last night. I was printing the three smaller pieces and I don't seem to have any masking tape anymore. So the stand fell off. And then also I was doing some drilling and it caused my printer to stop. So I actually didn't have enough time to finish before this video. I did manage to build something that fit out of my failed print from last night and then one of my earlier prototypes. So I just fed the wire through the back here, uh, attached the screen to the failed print. Like the best prints, I'm using blue tack to make sure the screen stays in place. And then I'm leaving a little bit of extra blue tack on the side so I can attach it to the other part. It actually didn't turn out too bad, it's definitely usable. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can really use anything as a stand here, an old box or whatever. The bodgiest one I could think of is get a lollipop stick, some blue tack, and stick that down and plug it in. It's as good as anything. You can use this library with any screen that you want. I recommended the OLED screen because it's very easy to work with, it doesn't require any soldering, and it's really nice and clear. If you have another screen lying around, it shouldn't be hard to replace my screen display code with your code. If you build one of these or come up with a better stand solution than I did, I'd love to hear about it. If you run into any problems or if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section and I'll help you out the best I can. Thanks a lot.